Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be, you know, giving you my thoughts on Netflix's new casting news for its live action Avatar The Last Airbender series. Um, so it announced its main cast, you know, the main roles of Avatar, which is Katara, Aang, uh, Sokka, and Zuko. Um, so I'm looking at this article from Entertainment Weekly and... So they say that Gordon Cormier will star as the Avatar himself. Um, I think he's 12 years old, the actor in real life. So, and I think Aang is 12 years old in the series. Um, the show, which is now being showrunner and executive produced by Albert Kim, Kia Wentio Tarbell, who just goes by Kia Wentio, um, will play Waterbender Katara, and Ian Usley will play her brother Sokka. And now for their pursuer, Dallas Liu will play Zuko, the firebending son and crown prince of the Fire Nation hellbent on tracking down and capturing the Avatar. Um, the creators of the original animated Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra, Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konitzko oh, dropped out of the live action adaptation noting that they lost control of the creative direction. That's already a bad sign. This new casting now comes with a lengthy note from Kim, who expresses his passion for the property and getting hooked on it through his daughter. Um, so yeah, you better not fuck this up then. Director M. Night Shyamalan previously developed a live-action Avatar movie, The Last Airbender, which got dogged by fans as it should've for many reasons, one of which was the lack of authentic casting, along with not following the fucking source material, which is so fucking easy. Um, or at least most of the fucking source material. Like, come on, man. This Netflix series seems to be a clear course correct in that regard. I also knew what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to change things for the sake of change. Kim continued, I didn't want to modernize the story or twist it to fit current trends. Thank God. I hate when people do that. I mean, it's good sometimes, but man, but most times, most times when people try it, it always fails. Um, Aang is not going to be a gritty anti-hero. Katara is not going to get curtain bangs. I was briefly tempted to give Zaka a TikTok account, though. Think of the possibilities. Huh? The fuck? He must be joking. He further teased that the show will be expanding and growing the world and offering and surprises, offering and quote surprises for existing fans and those new um, to the tale. Hmm. Okay. So there's a. So what he, I guess what he's saying is that there's going to be more to the story um, and to the world of Avatar that they're in. Don't know how I feel about that. That might be good, but, you know, so I'm, I, there's there's that thing, man, where people just got to you stay on the path of the source material. And when people go off of it, it either benefits them or it completely fucks everything up. So um, we'll see how that goes for them. Do, do, let's see. Uh, Cormier's Aang is described as a fearless and fun-loving 12-year-old who just happens to be the avatar, master of all four elements, and the keeper of balance and peace in the world. An airbending prodigy, Aang is, Aang is a reluctant hero struggling to deal with the burden of his duties while still holding on to his adventurous and playful nature. Uh, he definitely sounds like the Aang fans are familiar with. I agree. Um... Katara, meanwhile, is the determined and hopeful waterbender, the last in her small village. Though only 14, she's already endured great personal tragedy, which has held her back from rising to her true potential, though it's never dimmed her warm and caring spirit. Uh, further character summaries, Ped, 16-year-old Sokka, as sardonic and resourceful, outwardly confident, even brash. So, at least the characters they have right in this. As for Zuko, he's currently roaming the world in exile, as is on par with the original He's on a he's on an obsessive obsessive quest to capture the avatar because he believes that is the only way to reclaim his life and live up to the demands of his cruel and controlling father, the Fire Lord. Fire Lord Ozai. Um, Dan Lin, Lindsay Liberator, and Michael Goy, executive produce Avatar The Last Airbender, while Roseanne Roseanne Liane, co executive produces. Uh, directors on the series include Michael Goy, Roseanne Liane, and Jabbar Rezani. And uh, here are the people they've casted as the... So Aang looks good. I, I approve of this choice. Um, to Katara, not bad. Sokka, 
not bad. Zuko, good. Um, you know, I, th- I think it's definitely an improvement over the movie uh, 2010. So I'll say that. So I'm going to be happy regardless. But I do feel like they've made Katara and Sokka lighter than what they are. Because I, I believe they're, but I believe they're uh, you know, Inuit people. But, and I think the actors are too, because I think I remember uh, them saying, like, the actors were too. But, you know, it's just one of those things where, like, Hollywood, you know, colorism, um, you know, so if they, if they, they'll do anything they can to try to, you know, cast lighter characters for roles, even if, it, let's say, you're looking for an Asian actor, you're going to cast the lighter Asian versus uh, a darker Asian, or, you know, like, or for a black role you're gonna cast a lighter black person versus a darker skinned black person um so you know it's just something that you see in hollywood nowadays but i don't know i think she i gotta see more pictures of them because from this picture like she looks light as fuck like she looks the same as ang's actor maybe even lighter so this might be a bad picture but this is not bad i i like I think they'll definitely be better than the fucking ones we had in the the original movie. Well, I think wasn't the soccer he was played by um, the guy from Twilight and the one chick. She was bad in that movie and she was bad in Transformers. So you know this is uh, we're gonna see, man. Avatar holds a very special place to my heart um, as a kid show and even when I watch it as adult now. So you know. I, I hope they don't I hope they don't fuck it up. But honestly at this point, like all you have to do is just be better than the fucking twenty ten one and you should be fine. I mean there's there, there's not really a that's not really a high bar to to take, you know, to pass with that one. But we'll see. I actually wrote down I had three keys for making Avatar right. Number one, stick to the source material. Number two, cast actual actors based on the characters' cultures slash don't whitewash the characters. Three, be better than 2010's Avatar movie. Four, to avoid three, refer to steps one and two. So that's literally, follow these steps, and that's all they have to do. Like, if they follow those, then this movie will go by, or this series will be fine, just fine. Um, and I do like the fact that it's a series instead of a movie, because I feel like, you know, M. Night Shyamalan, even though he did fuck it up, uh, it's kind of hard to put everything that happened in Avatar Season 1 and, you know, condense it all into a movie. So I think having that show will give it more of that process and that freedom for the directors to actually, you know, plan these things out and actually have these stories um you know that take place in the show because you know so in avatar like there's there's always these quests and there's this main journey you know through each season but at the same time you always have these side quests that are very important for character development whether it's one character whether it's for all the characters um so i think with this series hopefully it it explores that and maybe even more like it said it wants to explore further into the world of avatar so uh we'll see man i i I'm I'm curious. I'm definitely gonna check it out. Um, you know, I'm, for for y'all's sake, I'll definitely give it a review and my thoughts. Um, the only thing I'm skeptical right now is just because the the original creators left, and those guys were you know important throughout. Like they were important for Avatar. Like they made Avatar. They made Legend of Korra. Um, so I, I don't really see. I'm kind of nervous. You know especially when they say it's because of creative differences so i'm thinking what exactly was you know so big that forced you guys to leave and uh you know i hopefully it's not anything that we notice (laughs) throughout this uh series when it comes out but who knows man hollywood and you know um directors nowadays i mean you look at warner brothers and how they are with their directors so (sighs) uh I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit nervous on that end. But we're going to see. Uh, so far for the casting, I approve. 
Um, could they have maybe avoided a bit of the colorism that we see in, in most Hollywood franchises? Probably, but um, is this an improvement over 2010? Yes, so I think I will definitely take it and knowing that these cast like these actors uh actually you know have these you know character traits like i think ian usley and kia went teal i think they're both inuit or let me before i make a mistake let me make sure he is indigenous north american native american specifically cherokee his midst at nifs ethnicity and i also have confirmation from someone that knows him in real life that he's native american and asian okay so that's fine with me i'm okay with that uh let's see katara so yeah ang would be asian ang and zuko asian and then the northern water tribe they want northern water tribe would be inuit so yeah that made sense um as far as you know, look, as long as they don't call him Ong, like in the movie, <laughs> that shit will be a start. I remember watching the movie and that literally, right when they said Ong, I was like, oh my god, this movie is going to be terrible. And god, I had to sit through another two hours and it ended up... <sighs> Why didn't I walk out when I had the chance? But yeah, um, but yeah. Let me know your thoughts on Avatar: The Last Airbender um, live action, and let me know what your thoughts are on the casting news. Um, you know, what do you think? Who do you think they should have uh, casted for those roles instead? Do you approve? Are you gonna watch the show? A lot of questions to ask, but you know, I'm very curious um, for y'all's opinion. So be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. If you like uh, this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and be sure to tune in for more. All right, guys, that'll be all. Deuces.